is pretty cool, actually. So deceitfulness of wealth, desires of other things come in and choke the word, making it unfruitful. So two things here. We can look at it two ways. One, the deceitfulness of wealth makes those that, it, that, God, that God has planted unfruitful because they are choked. Let me tell you something. This building is not free. I don't know if anybody knew that when they walked in, but it's not free. We pay a lot to have this facility, and that's okay because God is providing every one of our needs. But I'm not in here begging you for money, but yet it still gets taken care of somehow. Isn't that amazing? But what happens is, if you have this building and you don't have the finances, and you're like, uh oh, I, or maybe you do have the finances, but you just want a bigger house or a better car or something, like, how can I get more money? Then you become unfruitful because you start preaching about God is going to give you this and God is going to give you that. Come answer this altar call, lay a $200 seat at the altar, and God's going to give you a new house. I'm not kidding when I say that. I actually fell prey to a quote unquote prophet that had a miracle key for a seed of only $250. If you sow into his ministry, he's gonna give you this anointed key, and this key is gonna unlock this door, and you're gonna have this truck, and it's gonna be full of stuff. And like, I fell for that. Yeah, I did. But the deceitfulness of wealth is where he falls into, because that $250 seed didn't go to ministry, it went to fulfilling his lust of the flesh. And that's what happened. Bigger buildings. Bigger uh, sound systems, bigger stages, better suits, better cars, billion dollar homes. That's what, and there's nothing wrong with having stuff. Please understand what I'm saying. I have some good stuff. I have some real good stuff. I have a nice car. It's not run down, it's not broken, nothing. It's good. It costs me some money to get it. So money is not the issue. It's what's driving you that's the issue. The deceitfulness of wealth. Wealth is deceitful. You never can accumulate enough wealth. That's why we have billionaires and we have z zero nairs, zero dollar people. Because the billionaires still want more. What are you gonna do with a billion dollars? You, like, you can buy anything in the world, but yet you wanna make more money? And then this guy has nothing. That's not right. That's not the gospel. That's not what Christianity is based on. It's not based on a pastor having a million dollar home and his people not having anything. Now, I'm not telling you that a pastor shouldn't be wealthy. Because if you stick around here long enough, you'll find out your pastor will be wealthy. But it will not be on the expense of the gospel, say. And I'm not saying every rich pastor has built their fortune on that. I know many very wealthy pastors that built their fortune then got into the ministry. So please understand, that's not the point. The point is, the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things that come in and choke the word and make it unfruitful, that makes that minister unfruitful because he's not preaching what we just talked about. I've been crucified with Christ. I don't live anymore, but Christ lives in me. I'm the righteousness of God, not by the law, not by tithing, but I'm the righteousness of God through Christ who died for me. Let's keep going, I got a lot to cover.